Hello everyone, this is Char. Today we are going to be doing a ASMR lo-fi um, plant tour slash I guess you're gonna see my place tour but I got a new phone finally so I figured that the phone quality might be worth doing a video out of. <laughs> so I wanted to give you updates on all of my houseplants. It's winter time, so they've kind of stopped growing. So I thought this would be the perfect time to just kind of show you how they're doing. They're all a little dormant, sleeping right now. So it's perfect because ASMR is about relaxing and going to sleep. So when we do a lot of touching and tapping on the plants, <sighs> there's a puppy next door. <laughs> I just, I hope you'll enjoy it. I know the plants will enjoy it. I hope you'll enjoy it. So, let's get started. <laughs> So let's get started with my Philly Fig. I've been training her to kind of stand up on her own without a stick. And she's looked a lot better. It's a little bit straighter now. like got much over the summer I guess there was a period of maybe I didn't water her very well because this one's really small but the latest leaves have been quite gorgeous I think the last leaf she gave me was about a month or two ago so it's doing very healthy stir a little bit. Over here is this cool plant my friend Ivy gave me. She gave me like two little cuttings. Tiny cuttings. And now look how much she's grown since June. She's just put out all these stems and she's humongous relax and grow I love it so much so many different leaves so much growth I might want to hang her next put her in a planter she's got some variegated pink here. She gave me a strip of pink and a strip of green. So she's really pretty. This next one here, I've been propagating in water. We're growing in water since the beginning. And there's a little algae on it. But if you go back to my last video, this little guy only had like two baby leaves. I'll link it here so you can see the video. And now look at how much it has grown. I didn't know if it would make it, but I was obsessed with trying to heal this zebra plant. Afelandros grossa, I believe. I watched every video on how to grow it again and with a little faith keeping it in water for about a month or two it started to grow out roots and then eventually it grew out some shoots and more roots and more shoots 
they grow a pair of leaves at a time. So it gifted me one, two, three, four, five layers. I'm so thankful it's my prize plant because I thought I wasn't going to make it. And look how gorgeous it has rewarded me with such beauty. I love it so much. My favorite. <laughs> if you put a lot of care into something, it'll just grow for you. And over here I have my Triscanti and Anouk. I got this for Valentine's Day and when I ordered it, it was just two stems. But I would cut and propagate, cut and propagate, cut and propagate. And I was able to make triple the plant. Here's two of the propagations. The third one here. And if you could see from every node, it's just growing another set of stem with this beautiful leaf here. Isn't that pretty? So gorgeous and so pink. The leaves are a little dry on some areas, but hopefully that'll hopefully that'll get better. And here is it's kind of like kind of like a little sister plant. I think this is called the Calicia repens. A friend of mine gave me some cuttings. But I also found it at a Filipino grocery market. And I went to buy this from IKEA. A lot of these pots are from IKEA. And look how beautiful. I think this is called the Calicia Repens Pink Panther. I think. Look how beautiful it is. It's just this pink, flowy. here white against the green striations some are more green against green striations and I think it's because not enough light maybe it wants more light I don't know it's pretty good light here so it's one thing to figure out but it's grown so much and this baby here we have ficus elastica. Beautiful variegated tree. I like to call it a tree. How big these leaves are. They kind of remind me of like camel colors. The ones that grew here have a lighter green variety to them. And then the ones down here a little bit darker green. But I want to show you something cool. Look what it gave me. It gave me a pink leaf. Look at that. Isn't that cool? It's a cute little pink leaf out of it. That's so what I'm going to do. This one that keeps growing. I'll cut it here and I'll plant it. Actually, there was another 
um, stem that grew out of there that I cut and planted, and it's downstairs, so you'll see. I love it so much, it's pink! <laughs> also, this is one of the sponsorships I had, the Drift Car Fresheners. You guys should totally check it out. I keep this next to me because my bed is right behind me, and sometimes I'll just catch a whiff of this beautiful scent. This is like my favorite scent, so when I would just catch a whiff at night, it's just like, ah, I feel like I'm in the forest. It's the best. Balsam pine juniper berry. Wow. Mmm, so good. So good. So I'll just like keep that right there. Okay. Time to turn around. So we are over here. I have here this pot that was over there that I've been growing from like stems. And it's given me some long leaves, long branches of leaves. I love it. I actually used to have this hanging, but I'm just keeping it on this counter for now. And this is my 102 Dracaena marginatus. I'll show you its sister next door. I would love for this to grow. I hear it takes like 20 years for it to like get really tall. But it's never really grown for me. <laughs> it's the same height. It just, it had given me leaves. New leaves, you can see. But as far as the growth of the stem, it's pretty much stayed the same. <laughs> This, on the other hand, my wonderful snake plant has grown so much over the summer. And look at it go. It's just so gorgeous. It's sleeping now, but hopefully this summer it'll give me more pups. There I am. I like to be cozy at home, so these are the really soft. Um, what is this material? Sherpa or something. It keeps me really warm, and I need it because I'm a very cold person. <laughs> so yeah. And then this sweater, I had shortened myself because it was a little too long for me. This is like perfect length for me. And we have a fish in here somewhere. There he is. And a snail. They're sleeping. Okay, so this snake plant and the one over there used to be together. I had separated them. And they have grown so much. I love it so much. I love the sounds it makes. The leaves are so stiff. Like, I don't even know how these are plants. They're they're living creatures. Living creatures. And this is my lemon fern. Also split in two. And so you'll see the sister in a bit. And finally, I'd like to show you Pam. This is Pam. Pam likes it better outside, so she's kind of been not doing so hot in here. I don't think I water her enough. She needs more humidity, so she's been giving me some brown tips, but one, th one way I can tell she is happy is this is the second new shoot she's given me. She's given me one, which was this one. She grew ginormous, and then that new one's coming out. So I think I just need to remember to water it some more, especially because I've been turning on the heater, so it's made it really, really hot up here. And so she's just kind of like here by herself, like, needs some humidity. So I do have like, she's sitting on a plate of water in there, just to have some more humidity, but yeah, I'll have to take better good care of her. So this fig is a propagation from 
big one for my bedroom. I wanted that one to just have one stem, so I brought this one here. And I cut it, put it in a jar, and once it started to grow its own, I put it in this new pot. I should probably take a little bit better care of it. It's near a nice window, but yeah, I don't get to water it as much, so I'll have to do a better job watering it. And I could tell it's not that happy because so the leaf before it gave me was this nice big one. The next leaf was this one. So it's telling me I'm not doing a very good job taking care of it. Otherwise the growth would have been much bigger. But growing season is over. So maybe next summer I'll do a better job with it. And this is the other Dracaena. So big. Pom pom. Cheerleaders pom pom. <laughs> Pretty. Oh, and lastly, here's another fake. I took some cuttings from my mom's house. And. I'm hoping it'll get like really thick one day. And really tall so these plants need some work but we have next summer to kind of see how well everything will grow at least this leaf it gave me last time was very shiny looking very healthy so I'm really happy about that okay well that's it for the plants upstairs so we are in my downstairs now and I wanted to show you, I have some more plants down here. It's really like just what brought me so much happiness and purpose all last year. Like all I've done is just take care of plants and <laughs> I love it. It's so rewarding, especially to see them grow. And so I can't wait to show you the ones that I have here. So I have these two ivy here, right by the window, and they were actually together in a pot, but I had separated them, and now they're just growing and growing and growing. I love it. And here we have my CZ plant, which I just dusted. I don't know what these are. Are these like new growths? I guess I should look into it. I've just noticed them recently, so I think they might be like new branches or something. But these are like super easy to take care of plants, and some water stains from when it used to get watered that I, I can't get it off. But um, it's really beautiful, easy to take care of plant, so I love it. And then I also have this snake plant here. It doesn't have the best light conditions, but it's thriving. Snake plants are so easy to take care of that I'm very thankful for it because it's gorgeous. It's just like, there's like these swords. Sansa Varias are so trippy in how they grow. It's like amazing. Like, what is this? It's like an alien snake plant. <laughs> Truly amazing. And I have something really cool to show you next. Okay, I don't know if you guys know, but I have been growing succulents. I got this as a Christmas gift. Look at this. Isn't that pretty? Isn't this so pretty? I put the little guys in here and they've been growing so well. Even this one just grew for me out of nowhere from a cutting. It just grew. I watched it turn from a little bud to this big ass flower like last summer. So yeah, so if you're wondering, I do have a little grow light and it's under my television. It's behind my television because I like how during the day my television 
television doesn't look like this dark, sinking black hole, but if you look behind it, there's some life. This is what I mean. So during the day, there's some light behind it, and then if you go over it, you're like, whoa, look at this secret garden. All my beautiful succulents. This is what I've loved to do. Some of the succulents are so happy that they just give me babies. Like all of these four, I think they're called moon. Um, what are they called? Black and yellow snake plant? I forget, but one snake plant gave me all four of these baby snake plants. And so I potted them together. spots no matter what I did but that's okay and this is the snake plant that gave me babies that one just keeps growing and finally all these propagations This spider plant came from the other spider plant, which I didn't show you, but it was a baby. I did show it on Instagram. It just became its own thing. And finally, this Varica palm. Yay! Well, I think that's it. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this plant tour. I had fun showing it to you. And let me know what you'd like to see in another video. I hope that this camera quality was nice and I can do more lo-fi, lo-fi videos for you. Maybe some fun makeup videos on Instagram. <laughs> Take care. I'll see you guys very soon, okay? Bye!